Hello everyone and welcome to the Church Office Online video tutorial series. This video tutorial is going to cover our QuickBooks Online uh, sync process. So you'll notice that I have logged into a QuickBooks Online account here in my browser. Uh, and we're going to get started there and kind of discuss a little bit about how to set up your QuickBooks Online account so the sync with Church Membership Online works uh, really easily. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is sign up for a QuickBooks Online account. And you can just Google QuickBooks Online, and that'll take you to uh, Intuit site, and you can sign up for a QuickBooks Online account there. They do offer a free trial, so you can go give it a try and see if you like it or not before you start um, paying for it. And once you have a QuickBooks Online account, you're going to want to log in, and you're going to come to this home screen. And the first thing we want to do is go to the Clients tab. And it could be called customers for you. So you have a choice whether or not you want to call it clients or customers. So whichever one you have, go ahead and click on that tab. And then what we want to do to begin with is we need to create an all donors client or customer. And so I've already created one here. You can see that all donors has a balance associated with it. And basically what we do in Church Office Online is we do not transfer all of your individual contributions and associate them with individuals in QuickBooks. Because in QuickBooks you're not really tracking individuals, you're tracking your overall income and expenses and payroll and all that kind of stuff. And so we associate all of your contributions from Church Office Online with the all donors, client or customer in your QuickBooks Online account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new client or a new customer. That'll take you through a form and you'll fill out a bunch of information. I'll bring it up now. Uh, and basically what you would do is you would just put uh, all in the first name and then in the last name put donors. And that's really all you have to put in here. Um, uh, the display name will be all donors and you would save this record. I'm not going to save it at this time because the all donors uh, client already exists in my QuickBooks Online account. But make sure you do that before you try to sync with Church Office Online. Now once that's done, your QuickBooks Online account is basically ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close this tab now. We're going to hop back into Church Membership Online. And I've logged into Church Membership Online already, so you're going to want to log into your account. And then after you've logged in, you'll go to the Contributions menu, and you'll click on QuickBooks Online Connect. Now on the QuickBooks Online Connect page, we've got a bunch of information on here for you to use. So um, we kind of take you through the process and, and what you need to have there. We have some how-to information as well as a link to this video tutorial. You can hide the how-to information if you want, and it only hides it for your user account in Church Membership Online, but that way you don't have to read it every time if you're pretty familiar with how our QuickBooks Online Connect fu uh, functionality works. Uh, now you'll notice at the bottom of this page, we have Sync History. So we provide history of all of the QuickBooks Online syncs that you have performed because you can create duplicate information in QuickBooks Online. So you want to be very careful. You want to develop some type of process on your end to make sure that you only sync batches or date ranges once. Otherwise, you're going to end up creating duplicate um, income in QuickBooks Online from your contributions. So make sure that you utilize the sync history, look at what you've already synced, and make sure you don't sync it more than once. We also have on the very bottom of this page a recommended QuickBooks Online Connect process, and that'll take you through step-by-step -step basically what we're going to walk through in this video tutorial. Now the first thing that you need to do is do an IPP app connect, and that's Intuit's partner program, and we have to connect to Intuit. So you want to click on this Connect to QuickBooks button. That's going to launch a new window. So if you have uh, pop-ups blocked, make sure you unblock those in your browser. And then we're going to um, click on Church Office Online, and we're going to um, connect to Church Office Online. We'll connect there. And then we have to authorize Church Office Online to uh, talk to our QuickBooks account. Now you may be prompted for your QuickBooks Online username and password as part of this process. So if you're prompted for that, go ahead and enter that as well. We're going to go ahead and authorize Church Office Online to sync information into QuickBooks. So we'll authorize that. Once that's authorized, the QuickBooks Online feature is going to refresh. 
And you'll notice that in the top right hand corner of your screen, there is a little Intuit menu. And the Intuit menu allows you to jump between Church Office Online and QuickBooks Online and any other Intuit um, applications you might be using, like Bill.com. So we'll use this menu in just a little bit, uh, but for now we're going to come back into the QuickBooks Online Connect feature in Church Membership Online. And there's a, a couple things I want to point out here. So one, uh, we can see that the app is connected. So that means Church Membership Online is connected to your QuickBooks account. And this menu, this little Intuit menu, will be displayed until you disconnect from Intuit or until you log off of Church Membership Online. Now you can also, if you want to, you can disconnect Church Membership Online from QuickBooks at any time you want by clicking on this button. We also do a check after you've connected to your QuickBooks Online account to make sure that that all donors, customer, or client that we talked about earlier in the video tutorial exists in your QuickBooks Online account. So if that doesn't exist, you'll get a big uh, red X here and it'll tell you, hey, make sure you go create that all donors, customer, or client in your QuickBooks Online account so we can sync. But in our case, we've created that, so we get a nice green checkbox and tells us, hey, everything is ready to go. And then we get a few options here for what we'd like to sync. Now, we recommend working with batches uh, for contributions and donations. Uh, batches are a really nice way to organize uh, all of your contributions. If you'd like to learn more about batches, you can go look for our video tutorial on contribution batches, and that'll take you through how that works. Uh, you do have the option to sync by batch or to sync by a date range of your choice. So if you sync by batches, you will get a list of all of your batches that you can search through, and we'll show you the last 10 batches that you've created. And it'll give you the batch total that you put in as well as the actual current total for that batch. And then we give you a sync option where you can sync individual contributions, where we'll send over each individual transaction that was made in your church membership online account. So if uh, Aaron Schneider gave $100, we'll send that over to QuickBooks. It'll be associated with the all donors customer, but it'll show that uh, contribution. Or you can just sync a sum. So you can also say, just sync the entire sum of 3,000 over there. I don't want all the details of each individual contribution synced over. So you can definitely uh, try out these different options and see which one works best for your accounting practices. Now the other option that we can do is we can sync by date range instead of batches, and that'll bring up a date range selection. And so we could select you know, current month to date, uh, last month, whatever we want to do there. And then we have the same option of syncing the sum of contributions or individual contributions. Now for this video tutorial, just so we can go see uh, what the sync process creates in QuickBooks Online, I'm going to sync batches. And let's see, we'll go ahead and select this most recent batch. and We've got $3,000 that's going to be synced over. And let's sync the individual contributions. Now once you have all of that inf uh, all those options selected and everything is set up the way that you want, you can click on the synchronize button. And once you click on the synchronize button, the synchronization process will start on QuickBooks end. You'll get a nice green um, success story up here on the top as long as everything went over successfully. And if you may get any um, error messages or warnings or anything like that if something didn't happen uh, the way it was supposed to happen. So since we got the nice green message, it says everything synced over successfully, we can now use this Intuit menu, and we can hop over to our QuickBooks Online account using this menu. And this is really nice because we don't even have to log in. So it basically uh, stored those credentials that you use to connect to QuickBooks Online and Church Office Online and allows us just to connect right over. Now we want to go see those contributions that we synced, so we go to the Banking tab, and we click on Deposits. And you can see that we have synced over uh, to the all donors uh, client in our QuickBooks Online account two different uh, contributions. This uh, The memo contains the batch name and then it contains the name of the individual. So we have uh, the batch name and then Mike Smith contributed $2,000 and then the batch name again and Mary Book contributed $1,000 and we have a total of $3,000 that we synced over. 
And that's about it. So you can definitely try out the different options that we have in the QuickBooks Online Connect and, and see um, which format you would rather have your data transferred over here. Uh, but it's as simple as that, pretty easy to set up and uh, pretty easy to use. So please email us at uh, support at churchofficeonline.com if you have any further questions or run into any problems. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.